the Lotus 78. Well, the latter had introduced a new concept that was to revolutionise Formula One in the following years. It was known as a wing car. It actually used an inverse aeroplane wing principle to create not lift, but downdraft using an overturned wing profile. Well, the warm-ups were also marked by the drama for Nicky Lauda, who suddenly felt a sharp pain in his back. In fact, he'd just rebroken one of the two ribs that he'd fractured in his accident at the Nürburgring the year before. On the Sunday morning, the Austrian had to pull out of the race, an event that could prove crucial in the championship. As a result, Andretti's declared adversary for the victory was no other than Jacques Lafitte, who qualified superbly in second place. While the Spaniard participating in this Grand Prix, Emilio Viotta managed to qualify in second last place in a McLaren M23. Yes, the official team had in fact been testing the new M26, but weren't satisfied with Hunt's time, which was seventh best. As expected, the race was marked by Mario Andretti's domination. Out on his own throughout, Lafitte and Reutemann tried to keep up, but can't rival him. Worse, the Frenchman had to return suddenly to the pits with a loose wheel rim. Lafitte had to be content with finishing seventh, a lap behind Andretti. Well, the only thing to stop the depression overtaking the blue team was the best race lap produced by the JS7. Second consecutive victory then for Andretti, which tightened things up in the championship since four drivers were within just four points of each other.